to Deborah's Kitchen. We are going to make a pesto today, but this time I'm not using my typical basil pesto. I am using what is called cilantro. And cilantro, if you just go like this and smell it when you're in the store, because when you want this when you want a nice salsa, you want to put this into it and you want to make sure that when you rub it and you smell that kind of pungent, you either love this or you hate it. And I'm not kidding, I have really read that people, it isn't just me, people either love or hate cilantro. I personally never liked it. And as I grew older, it's like so many things you get used to, different smells. Yeah, that's why it's good to try things every now and then on your children because even as adults, we change and we do grow into different flavors and smells. So you check it out and see what you feel about cilantro. I like to make this and put it in little containers. As you can see, I've already done one recipe. I'm taking two cups, and I mean two really packed cups of my cilantro. And um, I'm going to put, well, the reason why I like to have it stored in my refrigerator, in my freezer, is because you can pull it out in one cube at a time, thaw it out, throw it into some rice, and you've got dirty rice, or to me, you have a cilantro garlic lime rice because as you can see I just cut up quite a bit of garlic cloves and I also have something very unique that I use I sometimes buy limes and then they go to waste well I found this true lime crystals I just put in that was not salt that was true lime crystals a teaspoon that equals about couple tablespoons of some fresh lime juice and I poured in a quarter of a cup and I'm, I know I'm going to use more so between a quarter to a half a cup of good extra virgin olive oil put it in your little food processor and whip it up give it a few good turns It's certainly okay if it doesn't come any pastier than that. I'm going to show you. Here, let's take this out. Works better if we take the blade out. Yeah, get that out of my way. Hook it. And I'm going to continue. Mmm. Wow, that is so good. So garlicky. And um, you know, the other thing when I was reading about uh, cilantro, it was also called a Chinese parsley, as well as the Mexican parsley. But don't mistake it for regular parsley, folks, because one time I bought this wonderful plant that I thought was parsley. I was at a stand one day and I said, ooh, that looks like good parsley. Well, guess what I forgot to do? Right. I forgot to give it that leaf test and smell it. So I go home thinking I've got all this cilantro growing, and turns out it was parsley. Well, that wasn't the worst thing that could happen because I love parsley. And you can make a parsley basil, as uh, parsley pesto as well, and put some garlic and oil. I wouldn't have put the lime, obviously, in that because the lime goes more with my Mexican dishes that I make. There we go. Look at how easy is that. And the, the really neat thing about doing this, folks, is I bought cilantro to make last, this week with my, uh, my rice. I was trying to create something for my husband because he loves the cilantro and lime in rice. So I buy this bunch and I'm like, what do I do with it? I sometimes have to throw it out. So this is a good thing to do. Put it in your, I buy special ice cube trays just for my pestos. Put it in your ice cube trays. Stick it in the freezer for several hours. Wait till tomorrow morning. Pop each one of them out. 
they'll be nice and hard, put them into a a freezer bag and then store them in your freezer for any time you want the uniqueness of cilantro. So again, this is an herb, this is a plant that people love or hate. See if you can change your hate into loving it like I did. Go on my website, get this awesome recipe, simple, make it, freeze it, and have it at any other time. MemorableFoodDishes.com Enjoy. Mm -hmm.